Let us think about Joseph, a silent and often forgotten figure in the nativity stories. Traditionally, we assume he was an older man taking a young wife. He knows his traditions and what is expected of him by society. So when Mary comes to him pregnant, he knows what must happen. She must be stoned to death. But perhaps this marriage isn't purely one of convenience. He loves her and wants to protect her while keeping open his own options for family and a future. I wonder what that conversation was like. Was Mary nervous and unsure? Or was she confident about what was happening? Is Joseph sarcastic and dismissive? Or disappointed and teary? Does he storm out in rage and disbelief? Are they alone when they talk? Or are they chaperoned? Is the family egging Joseph on and spitting at a pregnant teenager? And afterwards, how soon is it until the angel appears to Joseph in a dream? I wonder why Joseph recognises God's activity in the dream. Was he clinging to the possibility, however implausible, that Mary was speaking the truth? Perhaps, like Simeon, another older man in the story yet to come, Joseph longs for the coming of the Messiah and keeps his eyes open and alert. And so he can recognise God's activity, even in the girl next door. Mary says yes to God's invitation. And Joseph was invited to give God a family and to enable God to be part of society. That was his choice. As he said yes to the angel and to Mary, he says no to tradition, to his hopes and expectations, to his family. After the dream, is he excited or scared? If he is older, is he more aware of what all of this might mean? Or does his faith and experience assure him of God's presence through anything? And then, Joseph has to take a pregnant Mary to his ancestral home, to Bethlehem. Is this int him introducing his new wife to the family? And as the doors are shut, closed in their faces, to be shunned by those who think she's good for nothing? Or does he know his scriptures well enough to know that the Messiah must be born in Bethlehem and that this is one more piece of the jigsaw, further confirmation of the truth of Mary's story. Throughout it all, Joseph puts his arm around Mary, protecting her from the village stoners, from the spitting family. He makes a makeshift bed for a small child and calls the midwives for the birth of a child not his own. He says yes to being part of God's story, listening to the messages he receives and using his skills and his position to offer a home, safety and hope to God's activity. And what about us? How do we respond to God's activity around us? How do we put our arm around those in whom God is speaking? And who puts their arm around us and the activity of God in our lives? How do we hear God's messages even when it goes against our culture, our society, our family, our hopes and expectations? And what choices do we make each day to offer a home to God and to God's activity in the world today? God bless you this Christmas. <laughs>